Hey everyone, good tonight here with Tessa Gojira. And today we're going to be doing an impromptu review of his Protech. Not Protech. Is it Protech? Not Protech. Obscure. What the hell is it? Opscore. Yeah, Opscore. The other. Obscure. Obscure? I thought that was Opscore. I don't know. Ops it's Opscore. It's a bunch of Ops. Helmet. Ops and hops and beers for days. Helmet. So, it's the one I mentioned in my other helmet video. And it looks like this. It's got its cover. It's got these bungee straps. It's got arc rails. Arc rails are actually pretty nice now they have a Mitch helmet. And this one has a detachable little, uh, is it the goggle strappies. Is it the one goggle strappies come out? So you can strap goggles or you got these bungees for some reason that also can do goggle strappies. I don't know. But yeah, look, you can see this one's gone in the ocean a few times actually, so there's a bit of rust. Something to uh, look out for. And uh, there's padding. Back here, oh yeah, there we go, there's nice lighting. So there's padding on the back. The top pad apparently is missing in action. There's some side pads, but yeah. So, as opposed to the Protec, these uh, paddings are actually really nice and durable and more bicycle-like, whereas the Protec foamy ones, although cool would probably take in a bunch of water and get weird molds and other bad things. Or so, a massive head, it won't fit. Not too, so. Yeah, the, the, po the foam on the Protex, although Protex are nice, are not nearly as nice as this, in my opinion, despite having similar prices. Now well it's got the MVG mount, it's got the uh, the side and the top, uh, I want to say magic tape, because that's a Japanese word for it, but it's Velcro. The more you know, on the back there's this one back here, and then there's bump marks, because Tesla Gojira likes to party hard, frequently. And you gotta keep that brain damage at bay. You got all your brain damage needs to come from heavy drinking, not from uh, head trauma, so. Things to keep in mind. So yeah, it's got this cool suspension. It doesn't have the X suspension like the Mitch helmet I have. It has the uh, basic back strap. Twisty. You need to twist it. It makes it tighter or looser. And that's how it works. It does have the cool four point, but it does not have the front plugs, the little front front buckles that make taking it off and putting it back on easier, especially when using head comms or anything. However, the comms can be removed from the thing and attached directly to the arc rails, which is a cool thing you can do. So, yeah, it's pretty gnarly, and his is in black. And I'm actually wondering if he's ever going to put, like, bright neon green stripes or some highlights on it, because that would be sexy, if not untactical, but tactical cool as hell, am I right? So, yeah, that's that's the whole review. It's not going to put on my head. I guess I can't do a review without a head. Oh, God. So you can tell the middle pad is missing. I can feel it. My hair's, like, poking up in there. Is he? Ah. So, yeah, you know, chin strap, and, and you're strapped in, and you're like, I'm so Delta! Ugh. Glasses are on my face now. So that's how this review works. Bye!